Hello, welcome to Helena Coffee. Do you know about Arabica coffees? How are they different? Today we are going to learn about them. Tipica Tipica coffee is one of the oldest and most popular types of coffee. It's been around for millennia and has given rise to many new types. Java, Maragogipi, and Timor Hybrid are all notable Tipica varieties. Central America, Jamaica, and Asia are all home to Tipica. It is low-yielding, high-quality, and vulnerable to rust and pests, according to World Coffee Research WCR. The acidity is pleasant and straightforward. Bourbon Bourbon is a high-quality, medium-yielding coffee with a sweet flavor. It is a spontaneous mutation of Tipica. It is, however, susceptible to rust, coffee berry borer, and other pests. It's widely grown in Burundi and Rwanda, as well as in Latin America. Why should you be interested in bourbon? For the same reason that you should be aware of Tipica. Its early debut on the coffee plant has given rise to a plethora of different types. It's also a ubiquitous plant that's lauded for its beneficial properties. Heirloom Ethiopian While most Arabica coffee varietals are developed from Tipica or bourbon, Ethiopian coffee was the first. In fact, according to Kew Gardens, the country has 95% of the genetic variety of coffee. When you see, heirloom, inscribed on a bag of Ethiopian coffee, it signifies it can be grown in the wild or on a lightly managed farm. Hybrid Timor, because it is a spontaneous Arabica Robusta hybrid, the Timor hybrid is a contentious coffee. Robusta is a more robust, superior coffee species with a less appealing flavor and aroma in exchange for better coffee strength and resistance to leaf rust. This one-of-a-kind coffee has been employed in various varietals, including Catamore and Sarcomore. Sarcomore is a cross between Villa Sarchi and Timor Hybrid, whereas Catamore is between Katura and Timor Hybrid. Castillo, Colombia, and Marcellesa are only a few examples. Geisha, Gesha, Geisha originated in the Ethiopian hamlet of Gesha but remained popular in Panama until 2003. Since then, Panama Geisha has become one of the industry's most popular coffees. Gesha became a word signifying excellence and exclusivity because most of the Coffee World Championship finalists used it, and it became a word for extraordinarily high-priced green nuclear auctions. It has a distinct structure, with jasmine, orange blossom, bergamot scents, and delicate floral overtones. The plant thrives at high altitudes, over 1,400 MASL, according to WCR, with modest yields and delicate, gentle blossoms. The coffee trees are exceedingly difficult to grow since they are grown in poor soil and climate conditions, despite their high auction price. F1 Hybrids F1 Hybrid Coffee is a next-generation coffee cultivar with excellent quality, rust resistance, and yield potential. In modern nurseries, they are frequently mass-produced. The Centro Americano is a unique F1 Hybrid that has recently succeeded in Nicaraguan excellence. For manufacturers, one of the essential aspects of F1 Hybrids is that they are often more expensive and difficult to obtain. Rather than seed, they are mass-propagated in complicated nurseries using laboratory tissue culture, i.e., they are cloned. Katura. Katura is a dwarf bourbon mutant with medium yield, medium quality, and average seed size. The WCR definition of average yield is Katura variety. It is frequently planted throughout Brazil and Latin America and is subject to rust and pests. Catuai. Catuai is a cross between Mundo Novo and Katura with many of the same traits as Katura, including average yield, average quality, average seed size, susceptibility to rust and pests, and dwarf condition.